Thanks for clicking. 45,000 Ontario real estate workers have been forced to leave the industry, due in large part to higher interest rates. This according to a new report coming from the Toronto Star. Indeed, according to the report, real estate earnings have plummeted since the end of 0% interest rates, leading to tens of thousands heading for the exits. Now, if you clicked on this video thinking it was going to contain some schadenfreude, poking fun at agents who didn't know what they were doing, hurt a lot of buyers, dispensing advice that they found on the back of a napkin, then yeah, you came to the right place. But this video isn't just about poking fun, as I think the revelations coming from the Toronto Star and the conclusions that it draws gives us some insights about 0% interest rates and that they ultimately cause a lot of problems for would-be home buyers. So what I want to do today is go over the Toronto Star article, take a look at some of the consequences of 0% interest rates for the real estate industry, look at some steps being taken to help home buyers, and then discuss some implications for the future. How the real estate industry continues to fare in 2024, as we'll see, is almost entirely dependent on the future path of interest rates. We will continue to track Canada's interest rates on this channel. Click like and subscribe if you want to get those updates, but for now, let's get into this article. Onto the article, I do just want to briefly note that although the article focuses on real estate workers leaving the industry, meaning realtors, property management for leasing, etc., it's certainly not just limited to realtors. I haven't been able to find any concrete data on the number of mortgage brokers leaving the industry, but can say anecdotally that that is certainly the case. Delete, delete, delete. On to the article. The article notes that with Toronto having seen the lowest number of sales in 23 years, 45,000 real estate workers have been forced to leave the profession in just Ontario alone. Since the peak of Ontario's real estate market in 2022, prices have dropped over 20%, and real estate earnings have dropped by 40% in just those two years alone. As a result, many of those would-be realtors who jumped into the market, chasing rising prices and plump commissions, have had to leave the industry. Wait, stop, come back. And the Toronto Star isn't the only one to note this entirely predictable phenomenon, with Bryn Lackey of the Toronto Sun, a realtor herself, noting in December that when the market was booming, all a new agent needed was a 3 Series BMW and a social media strategy, and they were in business. Blackie even went on to admit that no one seemed to care that they had no experience and barely a frame of reference. Exactly what we're looking for! And, as noted by the star, this inexperience had some major consequences. Pre-pandemic, a home in Toronto for sale might see 20 showings a week, but that number jumped up to over 100 during the height of the housing boom. And, as noted by the Toronto Star, this was largely due to inexperienced real estate agents bringing along real estate buyers into bidding wars that they weren't equipped for, entering negotiations that they weren't prepared for. Meaning, these inexperienced agents didn't have the home skills to vet the clients and curate what properties their clients saw. And I can say from experience, I saw this on many occasions during the pandemic. Inexperienced realtors pushing their clients into bidding wars that A, they were never going to win, B, they couldn't afford, and C, even if they did win, the bank wasn't going to finance. You may win the bidding war, but the bank still has to finance it. You still have to get the bank to agree to go 300000 over asking price, which A, they probably won't, and B, is that really the best thing for the client? The clients. Sellers, as we saw, did quite well. It was the buyers that were ultimately the most negatively impacted. Yet, according to the article, the end of 0% interest rates did a number on the finances of real estate offices, with revenue falling substantially when interest rates started going up. Remember that chart when you're told interest rate cuts are good for the buyer. So, taken together, when we had 0% interest rates during the pandemic housing boom, this caused a plethora of inexperienced real estate agents to enter into the market, pushing buyers into bidding wars that they couldn't afford, which ultimately drove up prices. And now, with the end of 0% rates, a lot of those realtors have been pushed onto the sidelines. But, according to the Star's report, in Toronto at least, the industry is still far too overcrowded, with Toronto having the highest number of realtors per capita in the world, with 73,000 licensed brokers and only 65,000 sales in 2023. That's more real estate brokers than there are sales, meaning some don't sell any. And, while some, including Bryn Lackey in December, have noted that this exodus isn't going to be bad for the industry, there is a real worry out there that when we do eventually get those interest rate cuts, that the realtor floodgates will open again. Salespeople, those that have been sitting on the sidelines since rates went up, will make a comeback. 
which is a little absurd when you think about it. We have this massive group of inexperienced agents, agents that caused all kinds of problems for the buyers, for the market, etc., just waiting on the sideline. And we know that when interest rates get cut, that group of inexperienced is jumping off the sidelines to start advising buyers again. I'm not leaving! That wasn't a compliment, and you're not Jordan Belfort. But is anything being done to prevent this mass re-entrance of inexperience once interest rates do fall? Well, according to the Toronto Star, there is the newly affected Trust in Real Estate Services Act, or TRESA, which allows sellers to enter into open bidding and binds agents to an enhanced code of ethics. For its part, open bidding allows sellers to disclose other bids to buyers when bidding, which, obviously, if your intention is to start a bidding war, I would never. If your intention is to start a bidding war, then obviously open bidding is not your friend. But how about the enhanced code of ethics? The code of ethics which mandates integrity, honesty, good faith, professional behavior, etc. But the problem cited in the article, at least according to the article, didn't stem from bad faith malfeasance but rather stem from ignorance and inexperience. Oh, I was being negligent. But so, if the problems stem from inexperienced realtors, it's not clear how a newly designed code of ethics is going to stop those inexperienced realtors from entering into bidding wars to which they don't understand. The Act also provides some new enforcement mechanisms for RICO, Ontario's real estate regulator, but the effectiveness of those have yet to be seen. So, in summary, 45,000 real estate professionals left the industry since the end of 0% rates, and, to a certain extent, that exodus is being celebrated by some in the real estate industry. Yet, there is a concern that when interest rates do drop, those same inexperienced realtors will come flooding back into the industry, pushing buyers into bidding wars to which they aren't fully prepared. But, make no mistake, this is by no means a new problem when market mania ensues. Going back to 17th century England in the South Sea bubble, when stock jobbers, those market makers, enter the market en masse, pushing up prices, until that is, they are restricted by the powers that be. Will the new code of ethics be enough to regulate and contain the modern incarnation of that particular breed of pest? Well, time will obviously tell, but we're already seeing, as we've covered on this channel, story after story after story of bidding wars being induced by the usual suspects, of realtors purposefully underpricing homes and then taking to social media to note that the multiple offers being placed on those homes are evidence of a market comeback, are evidence that the market is heating back up. Now, this obviously wasn't just inexperienced realtors. There are plenty of savvy realtors pushing the market up, inducing bidding wars, and we know that because they're still going on today, even with this 45,000 having left the industry. And it's also worth noting before my inbox fills up that there are in fact some good, decent realtors out there that do look after their clients and do try to look out for their interests. But the article tells us what we already know, what we've discussed so many times on this channel, that 0% interest rates and not supply pushed the market boom during the pandemic and enticed a number of realtors to enter into the industry in the pursuit of plump commissions. Whether or not we'll see something similar when the Bank of Canada does cut interest rates remains to be seen, but we'll obviously continue to track it on this channel. Click like and subscribe if you want to get those updates, but for now, thanks so much for watching.